everyone and welcome back to the Happy Quadrilla class. Today we're going to look at the junior level challenge number 12. And this challenge we're going to try to change the color order for two marbles. Are you ready? Let's roll! First of all, let's look at the challenge card and find the corresponding blocks together and prepare all the pieces here for the build. Now we have our build. Remember that you have to check whether all the arrows on your blocks are correct direction or not. Now, have you noticed that some of mine are not correct? Let's check. I have two yellows that are not the right direction. Let me adjust them. Here and here. Now we are all set. According to the requirements, the starting sequence of the marbles is supposed to be red first and blue second. Meanwhile, the arriving sequence is supposed to be blue first, here we go, and red second. To make the blue marble arrive first, the red marble should take a longer route than the blue one so that it will complete its run after the blue marble has arrived at the finish. Now that your arrows are the right direction, make sure that you adjust the marble collector. Have a look. Our yellow block has the exit on this side, so we have to adjust our marble collector. Now we're good to go. Let's try the red block and see if that will work. Oh, seems like we have a problem here. So remember to use the accelerator here. And let's try again. Red first, blue second. Oh no, it failed. Hmm, does everyone remember that we have seesaw blocks? Red and blue. Would it work if we use the seesaw blocks? Firstly, let's try the red seesaw block. Aha, uh -huh. we find that when we use the red seesaw block, no matter which number is positioned at the top, the outcome doesn't change the way we want it to. So it seems that the red seesaw block is not the block we are looking for. Well, let's think a little harder about which block can work. How about the blue seesaw? Well, we find that zero is positioned lower, the red marble rolls out of the bottom exit through the blue seesaw block without the sequence reversing like we would like it to. How about we switch one to the low position? Will that work? Yes, when one is positioned lower on the blue seesaw block, the red marble rolls out from the zero side and continues on to the green block and the wooden block before reaching the yellow block, while the blue marble rolls out of the bottom exit first. Wow, we successfully reversed the order and made it so the blue marble reaches the exit before the red one, as you can see. Congratulations, everyone. Now, let's review how the blue marble was able to overtake the red marble. We found out using the blue seesaw block with the 1 and 0 positioned in such a way the blue marble rolls straight down to its final destination while the red marble takes a longer pathway. As everyone knows, a straight line between two points is the shortest, which is why the blue marble beat the red one to the finish line. Magic! Okay, now you are ready for the junior level challenges number 13 and 14, which both involve changing the order of the marble in just a similar way. So go and check them out and I'll see you next time. Happy rolling people! Bye bye!